Hello, I'm N.T. Wright. Welcome to my study here in Oxford. We're looking at the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12, which reads, God's word is alive, you see. It's powerful and it's sharper than any double-edged sword. It can pierce right in between soul and spirit or joints and marrow. It can go straight to the point of what the human heart is thinking or intends to do. This is a scary verse. My goodness, God's word is going to go right inside me and open me up and lay me bare. Yes, that's what this writer is saying. But but for the letter to the Hebrews, the idea of the word of God doesn't translate out as simply the Bible. We today, if we hear the word of God, we tend to think of the Bible because, of course, when Hebrews was written, the New Testament itself was only just coming to be and people were not yet referring to the book we now know as the New Testament as the word of God. So it seems to mean something more than that. It seems to mean the prophetic word, the word which the he- the author of Hebrews is expounding in this very passage, which is actually Psalm 95. He's taking Psalm 95 and saying, this prophetic word is going to do things in and for you, because it's a word of warning and a word of promise. It's a word which celebrates God's good creation, but says, watch out, God's purposes are going ahead, but unless you're careful, you might miss out, because like the children of Israel in the wilderness, which Psalm 95 is referring to, you may just wander off and do your own thing. And God says of such people, they may never enter my rest. And so we find throughout the Old Testament scripture, the idea of God's prophetic word being living and active. Isaiah 55 speaks of the word, which is like rain or snow going to come down and do what God wants on the earth. Or Jeremiah 23, which says, my word is like fire and like a hammer, which breaks the rock in pieces. So the point about God's prophetic word then is that we dare not dodge it. We dare not try to ignore it. It'll come after us. It will make its way into our minds and hearts and open them up and open them up. Thank God so that God's healing love can then pour in and transform us to become the people that God wants us to be.